Here I have a front upright from a 996 Carrera 2. The bolt which holds the wheel speed sensor on snapped when trying to take it out. Um, the sensor is also quite well stuck in place. What tends to happen is the aluminium on the upright oxidizes, expands and clamps onto the sensor, making it difficult to remove. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the sensor and then I'm going to drill out the bolt here. First thing I'm going to try doing on the sensor, just to see if I can loosen it off, is try tapping it round slightly so I'm going to get on that edge there with a drift and hammer and see if I can move it. If that doesn't work, then I'm going to have to knock the end off on here and then drill it out from the, uh, from the middle. So I'll try that with the hammer first and I'll see how I get on. With the end of the sensor removed, now I'm going to drill around the outside of this metal piece and then knock the centre through. But before that can be done, the centre has got to be removed from, from here. This is held on by a large nut on that side. As you can see, I've undone it and that's now loose and ready to come out. It's way easier to do this when it's on the car. You just put the brakes on, have someone put the brakes on and then you can undo the nut. With it off the car, it's quite difficult. Well, there is a hex on the back so you can uh, get a brake bar in there. It just requires um, a lot of force. They're done very tight. So it's quite awkward to hold everything still and do it. So with that off, I'm going to just slide the spindle out of there and then get the drill and drill a, a, a few holes around the outside of the sensor. I've now drilled a bunch of holes around the outside of that. I removed the dust shield to do it because otherwise it was getting in the way of the chuck on the drill. So you can see around the back there's now a load of holes on it. So now I'm going to try to knock that through so I'm going to use a drift and a hammer and try and press the centre out. I'm actually going to knock this out using a slide hammer which is basically a bar with um, threaded ends and a, a weight on it with some fat washers so we can push it out like this. Okay, boom. Now that that's the centre has been knocked out, as you can see there, these are all of the windings from the sensor. So before I carry on, I'm just going to clean all of that up. And then we've got the what's left of the, the plastic around the outside to remove. With that all cleaned up, you can now see the remains of the sensor. So basically the, the plastic has is pretty well stuck to the corroded aluminium around the edge. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to get a thin, small diameter punch and just basically try and knock with a, with a hammer, just try and knock that away from the edge and try and peel it away with a with some thick wire cutters, basically anything to, to try to get that away from the edge. So I'll, I'll make a start on that and then uh, we'll see how it goes. So what I'm doing here, I'm just going around the edge using a screwdriver to basically get the plastic away from the edge of the hole. Just release that as much as we can all the way around. And then at, um, at some point it will loosen the, the grip on it enough that the whole sensor will then come out. Okay, so the outer part of the sensor is now out. And if you look inside that hole, you'll see there's a lot of white on there, which is the corrosion on the aluminium. So I'm now going to clean that up, just using a bit of um, probably a bit of emery paper or something just to try and get rid of all of the white on it to clean it up nicely. Okay, the hole has now been cleared out. Just get a light on there so you can see it. Um, basically using a screwdriver to scrape most of it and then some emery paper just to clean it up. So now that we've got that cleaned up, I've got to drill this bolt out now, to do that, I need to run a 5mm drill straight down the centre. So it's got to run very straight so that it doesn't damage the threads. Now, to do that, I'm going to clean the end of this up so that it's flat on the top. It is pretty flat at the moment. And then I'm going to use this tool here. So what this is going to do, this part here goes into the centre hole. Then tighten the bolt up there, which is going to expand this at the bottom to hold it in place. Align that up over the top of the bolt and then fit this hardened steel section 
into it. So that's basically going to sit directly above that bolt to guide the drill so that we can um, drill straight down the middle. So I'll get that installed and then I'll show you drilling it out. You can see the guide is in place. It's been clamped down so it's now securely in. So fit that in and now I just need to run a, a 5mm drill down the centre. Now I've finished drilling out the hole. So basically the centre section of the bolt is now drilled out and all that's left is the the actual thread. So it's just like a spiral in there. So I'm going to pull that out using pliers and um, a pick as required to pull all, as much of that out as we can. After I've finished drilling the hole out I tried to pick the thread remnants out with a with a pick. I managed to get the first few threads out but not, not very successful. So I've just run a tap down it to clean it all out. So that's now all done. So I've now got clean threads for that. Um, if for any reason it didn't come out properly, it would be possible to drill it out to a larger size and then fit a, a helicoil in it because you've got a nice straightforward hole to just make bigger to start with. So that's it, job done. I can now get the new sensor fitted and get it bolted up, ready to go back on the car.